Well, in addition to that situation on Mount Washington, it has been a violent night and day in our area with six shootings in the past 24 hours. Two of them, one in Point Breeze and one in Penn Hills, were deadly. Meanwhile, police are continuing to look for answers after a man was shot in the head in North Braddock. He is still alive. In addition to the shootings in Point Breeze, Pittsburgh police are also investigating two others. One where a man was shot on Frankstown Avenue. The other, a man was shot in the stomach. That occurred in the Hill District. As the investigation continues, a suspect is in custody in one of those deadly shootings. More now from Bryant Reed. Several investigations are ongoing after a violent overnight in Allegheny County. Six shootings in total. Two of them turned out to be deadly. Neighbors tell us that one of those deadly shootings happened at this house, and it just so happened that it was an accident. A violent night across Allegheny County produced two deaths on what was supposed to be a cheerful start to Christmas. In Penn Hills, in front of homes and businesses on Frankstown Road, Allegheny County police say they found a 30-year-old man shot to death in his car and in Point Breeze. And then we heard tons of sirens and we saw them stop outside here on the street. And so we looked out the window and saw like seven cop cars, ambulances. Pittsburgh police arrived on North Linden Avenue where 17 year old Aaliyah Johnson was shot in the head. Jane Donahue and Bernadette Selzer were at home watching TV when they heard sirens and ran out the door to see what was happening. We like opened my door and heard like a woman shrieking, crying. Then we saw some guy get arrested. The person being arrested was a 16 year old minor, Johnson's boyfriend. Neighbors say he was showing her his gun when it went off, killing her. We weren't sure if there were other people who were, you know, other suspects, so we were scared. Um, and then we saw them get out caution tape and like put it up around the house. Court dockets show the teen is being charged with criminal homicide and possession of a firearm by a minor. Now we're still waiting on more information to come out about just about all of the shootings that have happened overnight, but stick with us here on KDKA, both on air and online as we bring you the latest details. I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.